All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm, and we are back in Starfield today with another custom ship build. And today we're going to go over the Star Fortress, the Dread Saint. Um, this ship just sort of came to me as, as inspiration. And it came together kind of nicely. It took me a couple hours to piece it all together. But I really have been wanting to play with the Class B and Class A parts and uh, see what I can really come up with to make a fun and interesting, and of course the rule of cool always wins, a super cool Class B a Star Fortress. And I think I may have accomplished that. So always remember guys to like, subscribe and share down below as well as comment it always helps the channel and we would love to continue to grow with you guys so anyway back to this ship it is the dread saint it is a vanilla ship build you do not need any mods to build this ship however as you can see i've kind of done something a little Interesting with the, uh, those uh, winglets that are hidden away there and stacked up, almost like a pipe organ. And that was kind of the goal that I was going for, was to do this like tiered ship that almost had like a, the look of a pipe organ to it. And uh, I kind of, I think I kind of got it. So uh, it is a class B ship, so you don't need class C, part, C parts to get this. So let's head inside and take a look around uh, you come in right here through this uh, forward facing landing bay and we will come in down here and it will open up directly into a hope tech mess hall um, the hope tech mess hall has really grown on me uh, as far as habs are concerned i think it's probably the best uh the best uh mess hall you you can have in the game and so they have the best mess hall and uh, the best companion ways the reason their mess hall is so great is it comes with this really nice little lounge area here as well as the galley with lots and lots of storage and of course the you know the tables and then there's a little storage area but what it has which is one of the reasons that i love the nova living quarters is their mess hall comes with an entertainment system like a, a seating area with a television. It's a, a Nova Galactic gets me when it comes to the mess hall. My food is right next to my entertainment. But we uh, will head up. Get out of the way here, Sarah. We will head up. This is not a ladderless build because we did the little stairway thing that we did. So, But we come up into a uh, two-by-one workshop because workshops are always useful. And then we'll fly up if we can make it uh, to the third level which uh, brings us up into a three by one living quarters. So there's a very comfortable uh, living quarters and a mess hall on this ship, uh, as well as a workshop. And then we will come up here to the cockpit. And again, one of the things I really love about this is you can come out over here and look at all your weapons and just kind of do an inspection before you take off. Uh, so. And that's what we're going to do, because I'm going to show you probably my favorite part of this build. Um, it's strange to say, but like I said, the rule of cool always wins out when we're building ships. And uh, this ship has one of the coolest effects for uh, a ship while you're in flight. I think it looks really cool, but... The way I've got the engines arranged, um, you'll see here in a second why I really enjoy this ship. Um, you'll notice that when I boost, because we're so close to the ships, the ship's engines, and we have the windows, you get this really amazing effect of the light and the hum of the engines when you boost. So here we go. Boom! I don't know why I love that so much, but it's so satisfying. And then you hear that boom, and every time you do that boost, you get this really great effect, and you can see the, the rear-facing engines going. Oh, it's just such a fun little ship. 
to uh, to just fly around in the cockpit. And that's why I always say the rule of cool always wins out first, because just with the way the engines are arranged, you get this really bright illumination of the cockpit from those uh, Eamon Dunn uh, sh engines that I've got under those really nice Class D engines. Such a fun little ship. And, of course, it is equipped with quite a few turrets, uh, fully powered up particle turrets about halfway and I could put about a point into just some basic Vanguard obliterators. Um, you could always switch some of these over to max that out if you really wanted to. But uh, yeah, it's got a really nice, it's got some pretty nice cargo. We'll go into the uh, photo mode and we'll take a, a look at uh, the Dread Saint while it's in space. It's such a cool looking ship. I. I really wanted to, I figured out a way to, to snap those winglets and I realized that you could do this like stair step and they attach to the front of the engines and it just gave this really cool effect, almost like like grills or piano keys or something on the, on a, on a, on the ship and I, I really just wanted to play with it and uh, the ship just came up together. It was a really fun ship to build. I, I just really enjoyed it and, and, and then I was trying to think of a good name for it. And then I had sort of built this crown of uh, braking engines across the top. And I was like, you know, that kind of looks, it's got a very pipe organy, very religious themed, royal theme sort of uh, feel to the ship. And I was like, the Dread Saint. That's such a cool name for a ship. So, and I was like, this is my first real attempt at a Class B uh, star, star Fortress. And it, it just... It really kind of came together. I had a lot of fun building this ship. It, it turned into something that uh, I wasn't expecting. Just the layout of the engines and the way they fire up. and It just came together. The, the, the Dread Saint, what a fun ship to build. And so we're going to show you guys how to build it. So we will be right back in the ship builder in a few moments. All right, guys, we are back in the shipbuilder, and I have the Dread Saint pulled apart. And uh, we're going to go through, and we're going to show you how you can uh, build this ship. Um, you will need access to all the ship parts. Um, I couldn't begin to tell you now, after I downloaded the uh, <laughs> all ship parts, uh, I, got, I have all ship parts available to me at my... Uh, at my uh, base now so uh, it's a little more difficult for me to tell you where to go and get them um, but uh, most people who will be building a ship like this will probably have access to most of these parts um, and uh, a lot of them uh, there's only really three places that you can go to get them so it, it's really not that difficult but uh, with that said we will start with of course the bay and uh, it is a shipbed 200 landing bay from Tayo. And you will connect that to a companionway. I have a Hope Tech companionway, but you can use whatever companionway you want. And then that will connect to the Hope Tech mess hall 2x3. Again, you can use any 2x3 you want here. I just happen to like Hope Tech companionways, and I kind of like their uh, mess hall as well. And so on top of that, you will put your uh, RD3000 beta grab drive or whatever class B uh, grab drive that you would like to add. And then snap a 500T helium-3 tanks. Unfortunately, uh, you will need these tanks because you need the stat points to make this build work. But uh, I guess you could uh, take these off and put the gas tanks on the outside of the ship somewhere if you don't have these available. Um, but these these really help because then you can snap your uh, 104DS mag inertial reactor to that. And so what you will do is then you will start to add your gears and you will have two of these uh, AccuLander 11 landing gears from Stroud Eklund and they will go along the side of those, uh, that companion way there. And then you will take a uh, three, two by one workshop or any two by one that you want and you will connect that on top of the companionway. 
and the landing bay. That way you have a three-way intersection between these three halves. Now I did not take it off, but down here is where I have the 100 DP Slim Doctor Docker from Dymos underneath there. And uh, then what you will start to do is add your engines and you will add your first engine right along the inside uh, of that just behind this uh, Accu landing gear right here. And these are four of the Dunn 71 engines from Amun Dunn. Again, you will need these ones particular because the snap points are necessary to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. So then you will take your next set of engines and you will snap them just on top of those in the rear snap point. That way we get that nice step up effect when we start playing with our, our little winglets up here. Um, but then what we will do is we will take this uh, Demos Living Quarters 3 by one Again, any 3 by one is uh, usable here if you want. It's just you need the length to add the next companionway to the back, right there over within between these two engines right there, and that is where your cockpit will go. Uh, any overhead cockpit works here. I just happen to have access to the Con Tiki B600 bridge, and so I use it. So now we'll go through the way the winglets work. Um, the winglets are just these Nova cowlings, uh, 2L, SF, and uh, they can be transformed into all the different pieces um, that you need. Um, and so what you will do is you'll snap them like so with uh, the front hanging out. And you can flip these around, but I have the middle one flipped around because that is where we have been sticking our cargo. And uh, we'll do the same thing on either side with these bottom winglets like this. Uh, and that's where your cargo goes. And then there is, a core, of course, a, a second tier uh, that goes up. And we need to flip one of these around to get it started. Which one is it that I need to flip around? I think it's that one. No, it's the second one. The second one needs to be flipped around so that you can have it just like that and you flip the back one around like that. See how that works? And there's how you do your step up and you flip the rear one around. Um, it won't matter once we get later in the build because later in the build um, there'll be enough snap points that it will all hold itself together. Um, so you can move these, these ones around any way that you would like. But the, the rear one does need to be out because that's the point that we attach our uh, gears to. <coughs> and uh, so we'll probably have to do the same thing here. We'll need to probably take our uh, do you believe that's what we'll need to do. Yeah, we'll need to take our Do, do, do. I flipped them around later on so that I could add some little nifty things on the side there. Again, it won't matter once our winglets are on. They will all snap together uh, just fine. But you can put them just like that and it will work. But uh, later on, we're going to need to flip them around so that we can add our cargo to it. But we will need to play with the winglets first. The second uh, layer needs these... Uh, snapped out because you are going to attach your NG-15 landing gears to the to those snap points on the outside of the ship like so and uh, you'll start putting your cargo along the uh, lower tier but we can't do that yet because we have to play around with uh, the winglets um, so in the rear we have a bunch of uh, cargo and decorative pieces, um, but this is the uh, this is the back sort of X section of the fuselage. Um, there is a Demos belly aft that has a Demos hull A on it, with another Demos belly aft, and then two Nova braking engines attached to the side, and then some Demos spine D attached to Demos spine C, and that's where I have my two. Uh, Auto pro Vanguard auto projector obliterators attached, and they attached 
just like that to the back of the ship. And then, of course, we can just go ahead and sneak our Vanguard Bulwark Shield right here on top of this engine. And uh, so we have some more cargo, but we can't put it on yet because we really need to get these winglets uh, snapped into place. Uh, but on the front, we have a Stroud Eklund nose guard. And then we have a Hope Tech Pipes Mid that comes out the front. This is purely decoration. You could put just about anything you want here, another braking engine or any number of things. And so uh, we'll go to the rear because we can attach our uh, T-10 hauler cargoes. I believe those go uh, there, just like that, just under there, underneath there. And there is two of those that go underneath the bottom there. And then we have a bunch of these nose caps that go in the back, just like so. To sort of cover up our stiff, and then, of course, we have one NG-20 landing gear from Nova Galactic. It goes right underneath your uh, mag inertial reactor that you see right there. And then we've got two more of these little bumper thingies that just sort of cover up the, the ugly. You could probably put some windows there if you wanted to have a bit of a view with your uh, inside your mess hall. But uh, now we're getting into sort of like the weird and tricky part. It's not really tricky. It just, uh, it, it's one of the few times that I really used some snap mechanics. And it was to create these sort of cool winged effects. And so what you can do is you can put these uh, just like you do normally up to, up to the top there. And then you can flip them around just like that. And they will snap into place just like so. Oh, you dirty, dirty dog. You have to do the little cancel thing. I can't remember how to do it all the time. Let's see if I can get it to do it. Up, oh, stop deleting it, you weirdo. You can do this cancel thing where you pick it up, you flip it around, and then if you uncancel it, it, it allows it to go. Maybe if I do this, it'll work. I have an idea. Yeah, this is how I was messing with it earlier. There we go, and then we delete the one down there. It's such a pain. That's why I don't like doing the little, the snappy tricks, but they do work. And they do make some pretty cool Work. Nope, 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 can't get it to work. Let's see. Uh, uh, it's such a pain in the butt. There we go. There, I got it to work. And now the winglets are actually attached. So you can do this, flip this one around, and you can take this uh, off here and then flip it around and put your cargo holds uh, on the, along the uh, step ups here. And then, then you can do it over here as well. You can flip this out, take your other cargo hold, snap it on. You can take our little. Now you can snap that into place. Put the cargo hold there. Just like that. And we are nominal. And that is how you would build the Dread Saint. Such a fun ship to build. I think it looks really cool. Looks really, really, really good in flight. Uh, was a real joy to build. And uh, I hope that you guys uh, enjoy building it as well. We could probably throw a couple of winders on there if we really wanted to. I believe I deleted those. But you can put, put you some windows here if you really want. You know what? I think I'm going to do that in the back. I think that would look better. What do you guys think? I think instead of these, I'm going to put some windows. I think that would actually look a little bit cooler. 
and give us a really nice view out the back of the uh, dining hall. So that is the Dread Saint. Let's go see what those windows look like. I think we're going to go in and take a look. That's one of the things. I'm going to do this for the first time ever on a video. I'm going to go in and check out uh, what it looks like on the inside after I make a quick change while I'm in the video. And, of course, the door's closed, but let's see if it really cuts anything of the value off. It does not. Actually... If I'm saying, I, if I'm saying it didn't cut anything of any value off, it actually added some value to it. There you go. Now there's a nice view out of the galley. Oh yeah, that really worked out. Yeah, the windows in the back are pretty dope. So I expect that uh, you could probably put a third one here, but you would just be staring at the stupid uh, landing gear back there. But that looks pretty damn good. Yeah, what a fun build. I really enjoyed this build, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, I hope you have fun building your very own Dread Saint and living aboard your very own Dread Saint. So I want to thank all of you guys for coming along today, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Gamer's Grill.